when I made this table, I made every bit of this a component. So each each, each individual piece of this table, uh, these vertical pieces, they are components. These legs are components. These stretchers are components. Before you can get to a component, you have to draw something first. So uh, I've drawn this chunk of wood right here. And if I select the entire thing, I can go over here to my Make Component tool, which brings up the Create Component dialog box. Now, like I said, keyboard shortcuts are a lot faster. So if I have everything selected and I press G as in girl on the keyboard, it brings up my Create Component uh, dialog box. So either select it all and press G or select it all and go over to here. I re recommend using the keyboard. It's a lot faster. Now, once I'm in my Create Component dialog box, I can change the name of the item if I want. Um, some people find this useful. I don't. Uh, I always just leave it as whatever it is. Um, you can also add a description and change the component axis. Uh, the axis may be, come into play uh, when you want to change certain things or maybe use the cut list plugin, which I don't recommend. Uh, but you can change your component axis by basically saying, no, we started the drawing from over here or whichever direction you want, just to change your axis of your your origin axis of this part I guess you could say and once you click create or press enter on your keyboard this is now a component so before I selected this face only by clicking on it now if I click on it the entire thing is selected which means it is a component make component now you can edit components by double clicking and you get this extra dotted line boundary box meaning I'm only editing what is inside here and now you can select just the faces because I am at this stage it is not a component yet you're editing the basic features click outside of that and you're back to it being a component